Greetings, First Presbyterian Church family. I hope this finds you well on Thursday, January 27th. I'm recording this message on Wednesday, January 26th. Happy Australia Day uh, for all you Aussie lovers out there. I'm here uh, today. I'm here in the library. I am sitting on the couch. I've never recorded from this angle before. Thought I'd try something different. Hope the lighting is not too bad. Oh, and uh, well, I don't know if you'll hear much noise because when I record from here from the road, it just seems like a lot's going up and down on, on Beltline. The way this week has fl has flowing, not flown by, but flowing. It seemed best to record this afternoon. Now, for me, today has been um, on the high end. It's normal in the high end of the emails uh, that need to be uh, sent, uh, a couple of phone calls, uh, some of the administrative uh, side of things. I've really had to. I've really needed to focus there, and so it's been good to now slip away, slip down and to relax a bit. And this is very relaxing where I'm sitting. Maybe you, when you're listening to this, have had a, kind of a, a, I don't know if you call it a, a maybe a, more of a scattered day, a day when you find yourself in so many places, um, either mentally and or physically, uh, duties to handle. All that's important what you're doing but thinking, I've, I've been around the world in 80 minutes kind of day. I hope you're having some time when you can just sit down, reflect, listen. And so I want to share, again, the uh, works from Timothy Keller and from the uh, Celtic Benediction, a series of the scripture readings and prayers to kind of walk you through for the next several minutes. I hope you enjoyed the one that I did last week. Still debating uh, February. I mean, they're going to continue this theme on through February up until Ash Wednesday when we'll shift focus, or I'll come up with another theme for then. But for now, just sit back and listen and enjoy. The reading comes from Psalm 18, and this is from Tim Keller's uh, book. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From God's temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. And then Dr. Keller says, The Psalms repeatedly call God a refuge because we so constantly need it. Habitually turning to God for refuge is the only real support we have in life. In Psalm 2, David took refuge by remembering that God will put all things right eventually. In Psalm 7, he took refuge by resting on God's wise arrangement of his current life circumstances. Here we see David taking refuge by thanking God exuberantly for past blessings. When he says, I love you, Lord, he uses an unusual Hebrew word that conveys deep emotion and passion. Cultivate such love by considering God how, how God delivered you through the drama of the cross, and that will make you strong. And then he concludes with this prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for leaving the ultimate refuge of heaven to become radically vulnerable and to die for me so that now, despite my sin, I can find a welcome and refuge in the arms of the Father. I love you for what you have done and for who you are. Amen. And then from Celtic Benediction, just last time I did Thursday morning, I'm going to go to Thursday evening and uh, we'll change some of the verbiage uh, because 
the time of day you may be listening to this. It begins with a psalm, 42.1.2. As the deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. It's a guided meditation here, and it speaks about being still and aware of God's presence within and all around. And if you want to hit the pause button on YouTube, you can do so. The opening prayer says, In the darkness of the evening, the eyes of my heart are awake to you. In the quiet of the night, I long to hear again intimations of your love. In the sufferings of the world and the struggles of my life, I seek your graces of healing. At the heart of the brokenness around me and in the hidden depths of my own soul, I seek your touch of healing, O God, for there you reside. In the hidden depths of life, O God, there you reside. Psalm 107.35 says, You turn a desert into pools of water and a parched land into springs of water. And Jesus said in God, John's Gospel, I am the resurrection and the life. Maybe at times you feel like a desert or a parched land and you are looking for that water that comes from the Lord. And then follows a prayer of thanksgiving and intercession. When it seemed there was no hope, I have seen your light in the eyes of a child. When it seemed there was no joy, I have heard your delight in the voice of a friend. When it seemed that life was stale, I have smelled the freshness of sunlight on my skin. When all seemed emptiness, I have touched your presence in the hand of a stranger. When the future seemed barren, I have tasted life's moisture on the lips of another. Thanks be to you, O God, for your embodied love. Open my senses to your presence, that I may love you and care for you in all things. Here it says, recall the events of the day and pray for the life of the world. It, it could be reflecting on the on your day before you listen to this, or just the hours, a few hours before they listen in the morning or the evening. But take us some time to reflect. And then it offers his closing prayer. You have given me eyes to see with, O God, and ears to hear life's sounds and sorrows. And yet my seeing and hearing, like my tasting and touching, are wounded and weakened by failures. As rest can heal the sores of a body and sleep restores its strength, so may your angels of grace visit me in the night that the senses of my soul may be born afresh. Visit my dreams with messengers of grace, O God, that the senses of my soul may be born again. Whenever you watch this, I hope it it's, addresses your situation in whatever way. And I hope for a good day, week, and weekend. Take care.